What about uh, Christian Coleman and kind of like his front side mechanics and, and stride rate? What are, do you have any opinions about that in him running the fastest 60 time? Does it, does it make sense kind of because his stride rate is so fast that he can benefit maybe shorter races but not in 100 or? Well, I think we really haven't seen yet what Christian Coleman is going to do this season outdoors. I don't think there's any reason to think that uh, he's not going to run equivalent the equivalent 100 meter time to his recent 60 meter world record. In fact, his 60 meter time is pretty close to what we would expect from having a superstar athlete of his caliber run the 60 meter dash. So, it, you know, while it is a world record, He's as fast as Mo Green is, uh, over 100. So why wouldn't he, you know, be as fast over 60? I don't think it's all that surprising. It's just a matter of we finally got a, a true superstar uh, running the 60 indoors in pretty good shape. You know, he, his there's always going to be a a little bit of a um, optimization when it comes to stride frequency and stride length. Um, you know, you get really tall guys who are obviously going to have uh, lower stride frequencies, but much greater stride lengths with guys like Usain Bolt being kind of the, the prototype of that. And then you got other guys, um, you know, I can think of guys from back in the day like Andre Kaysen, who was just unbelievable frequency. Um, stride length was obviously a lot shorter, but was still getting it done. You know, could run sub nine, uh, sub nine nine, and and churn out some really really fast times, including a, an unbelievable windy time. So, with every person, you got to look at kind of what's going on with their anthropometry, uh, thigh length, uh, lower limb length, height, and so forth, and then figure out what works for them. And even then, some people some people are better big pushers on the ground, other people are um, need more uh, frequency frequency based. There's not, it's not quite a one size fits all model to run really fast. There's a couple ways you can get there and I think 100 meters uh, has shown that if we look at the historical data, we've got guys who are running insanely fast and are, you know, 5'5", five, five. guys who are Usain Bolt at 6'5", running insanely fast as well and everybody in between. Hey guys, if you made it to the end of the video and you're seeing this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, share this video. We're going to keep putting out great content. We love doing it and we want to share all the information uh, that we have with you guys. Thanks.